Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at doing animations in Google Slides. So animations are a great way of bringing your presentation to life, but I do encourage you not to go overboard with animations because they can actually add to the cognitive load in your presentation and be distracting for the viewer. So within your Google Slides presentation, you can animate different items. Here I've got an, just an image and then a text box with different bullet points in. So first of all, we're going to look at the image. If I click on the image, then go to the insert menu and I can see the animation tool there. If I click on the animation tool, immediately it adds a basic level animation to that item. So I can see the little icon here of the item that's animated. It says it's fade in on click. So where I see fade in and the drop down here, this is actually the type of animation that you can do. So there's a range of different animations here that you can choose from. So after the type of animation, we can also then look at when. So at the moment it's on click, when I click the mouse, it will appear. We can also do it so it's automated, whether it's after the previous animation or with the previous animations. And the last option we have here is the duration. So I can choose the speed, and whether it's a fast animation or a slow animation. Whenever I'm doing this, I can then click play for a preview. So we can see the animation here. It's gonna fade in on the click and it comes in there. So obviously if I want to change any of this, I can do it in the drop down. So I could change this to fly in from the left. I click and then that appears. What I can also do is add additional animations to the same item. So where I've still got my clock selected, I can click add animation. So again, it's added it here, but this time I might want it to say, for example, fly out to the right. So it's gonna fly in from the left and then on my next click, it's going to fly out. So let's have a look, see how that looks. So on one click, it flies in. The next, it flies out. Next, we're going to move on to the animation for the bullets here. So again, I select this. I can click Add Animation. So it's the same principles as we had before, where I can choose the type of animation and when it will appear. But the key difference I have for text is I can actually select by paragraph, because at the moment, by default, if I do the animation, Let's do a little preview here. So I'm going to do that in and out and then my click for my text and they all appear at once. Obviously, if you're doing um, bullet points, you might want it as a slower reveal. So if I click on by paragraph, that means that each bullet point will appear one at a time. So again, I'm going to click play. I've got my clock going in, going out, and then I've got point one, point two, point three, point four. Point five. What I'm going to do next is add another image that's on my clipboard. So I've just got a post-it note here saying thank you. For, that's going to be for the end of my presentation. So I'm going to put it here over the clock. And again, I'm going to add this in. I could have it zoom in, for example. Again, remember what I said about not having too fancy animations, but this one I'm also going to say after the previous. So that means if we look at the order here, after the point 0.5, it will then appear. If I do want to edit my animations and have them in different orders, mm -hmm. I can then drag these and move them around to be the order that I want. Obviously, you might have seen there as well, there's a bin icon if I want to delete it. So I've added that in, I've done it after previous. And so now if I click, I've got my clock coming in on a click, clock going out, and then five clicks, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, and then after this, I don't click it again, and that will just appear because it's after previous. So I hope this has given you some indication of how to use animations within Google Slides and just go away and have a practice and get creative.